Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I had to wait a little bit before I throw my two cents in um, about the passing of the juice. So whatever side of the diaspora that you own, I want to welcome you, and I uh, hope that you will like the video, you share the video, and just hear a different perspective about OJ. Now, first, let me just make it plain that I'm not happy about anybody who has died in the way that Nicole and Ron Goldman passed away. Um, and I don't find no pleasure in murder, okay? Or, but I just want y'all to know that um, I'm so sick of the disrespect. I, I, you know, first of all, from my perspective, and I need to say this because it's real important that people r remember that OJ was acquitted. Okay, and fortunately, there's a lot of people who would be acquitted of heinous crimes if they had the money power and star power that OJ had to hire uh, good attorneys to walk him through his trial. He had the resources to fight through all that murk. And so all of y'all want to be mad at him, but none of y'all want to be mad at Mark Furman, the racist cop who was unleashed on our community with his blackface wearing ass, who has talked more about his despicable uh, attitude towards black people. And y'all don't have no smoke for him. Y'all smoke is for OJ. Well, I don't know if he did it or not. Okay, that's number one. I don't even know if he did it. Okay, so you can get mad all you want to. You can throw a fit. I, I, OJ, I'm one of the few people that's still alive to remember the juice in terms of his playing days. You know, I think I was in high school. It, nobody ran that football. Well, maybe Walter Payton. I don't know, uh, Earl Campbell, but... Earl Campbell was probably the hardest, uh, the the just the enigma of a damn tree running down the gridiron that I've ever seen. But OJ was the smoothest damn running back I had ever saw. The way he ditched in and ditched out, and um, Walter Payton had a lot of uh, um semblances of uh, of the juice, but the juice was an excellent football player and I'm not going to take that away from him and I'm not going to let his legacy just be that uh, he was suspected of murdering Ron and Nicole even though he was acquitted by a jury of his peers as far as Nicole is concerned I don't know if her drug use got her killed I don't know uh, what uh, really was her stilo I just know that she was into a lot of stuff that nobody want to talk about, and it didn't come out in that trial. Okay, because it might make you go, hmm. Okay? And lastly, I want to make sure I say this. For Caitlin to say good riddance to somebody's death when she her, herself his, is, is a damn murderer herself he didn't kill somebody with vehicular homicide and he got the nerve to say good riddance to somebody i think he should take uh, uh stick his uh if uh thing in between his legs and go on on because i don't really think he's in a position to judge anybody when he is a murderer and the worst part about it is none of y'all see him like that y'all made him woman of the year Okay, and you still bigging up uh, Caitlyn like he had so much courage to change his ass into a woman. Oh, really? But you want me to hate OJ 
And after all the killing y'all done done to us, from the Emmett Till to the Trayvon Martins to the, uh, listen, it goes on and on all the way up until today. Scottsboro boys, let's keep it going. You got the nerve to sit there and be stuck on this white woman like she is the prince of all princesses. And OJ is the, listen, and I'm not no fan of OJ. And the really sad part about it is I hear a lot of uh, black folks talking about because he had a white girlfriend. I don't hate nobody because of the color of their mate. How stupid is that? If he married a white woman, he married a white woman. He had a white black woman first. And he married a white man. It's not that. I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't uh, uh, su suggest that he did that, but that's what he did. And you see what happened because of it. OJ was a bully. And for that, you know, I can't respect him in terms of how he dealt with his relationships. You know, beating up women. But, you know, she should have had somebody to whoop his ass. But she didn't. I'm sorry. I, I should have left that out. But what I'm saying, y'all, is people seem to... To have their cuts and uh, balances, they they um hate and non hate verbally, but when it comes to Nicole Simpson, I, after all this time, ninety y'all still running around talking hating on OJ because of what happened to her. Well, I'm not one of those people, and I don't know how uh, she passed away, and I'm gonna let it be known. And OJ was it ain't no good riddance. Because he did. He's somebody's father. He's somebody's grandfather. Just like uh, she would have been. Okay? And at the end of the day, he was acquitted. He was acquitted. Y'all, y'all mad because he had resources. Y'all are mad now. But y'all don't care nothing about all the black people that are killed unnecessarily. Right now, the shootouts with police. Police shoot us acorn fall off the tree and hit the car and the police can pull out a gun and shoot somebody that's close to the proximity ah so scary but you want me to have all this sympathy for the cold brown miss me with the bullshit miss me with it rest in peace oj rest in peace